my underrated and or forgotten nail polishes video for you guys today. This is going to probably not, well, I'm, I know there are a lot more in my collection that I have to talk about. I only have eight polishes to talk about today. So I'm going to do multiple of these videos. This is going to be the first one of probably a few over some undetermined amount of time. Um, and I decided to do this video because A, I asked if you guys wanted to see it in my July favorites and a couple of you guys commented and said you would love to see an underrated video or underrated polishes video. And B, because Lindsay or Lindsay Does Nails posted a video a couple weeks ago of her, of, it was a haul of lemming and hard to find nail polishes that she had always wanted to have. And she talked about in that video some pur burlesque colors from the OPI burlesque collection. And it reminded me that I absolutely loved those and it totally led to me wearing um, one of the polishes that I'm going to talk about today and just loving it and having it in my July favorites. So that's kind of how I decided I should do this video. Um, that polish was actually the color the show must go on. Again, this was from the OPI burlesque collection. This was a holiday collection like four or five years ago. Um, I did a video on this, um, a haul video, and it was a really long time ago, and it's kind of a funny video if you guys haven't seen it. Um, but it was a full holiday collection of glitters and shimmers, and it was a beautiful collection, and I honestly totally forgot about it until Lindsay talked about it in that video um, and we were talking and she was like yeah I saw your video and that's why I wanted to get the polish and I was like honestly the only reason that I remembered to put the polish back on was because I saw your video about getting the polishes so it just kind of rem reminded me that I have a lot of underrated and forgotten about nail polishes in my collection again the show must go on is a shimmery um, like glass flecky shifty nail polish and that entire collection was glitters and shimmers that were similar to this. Um, this one I think was the best shimmer of that collection. I think I said that way back when, but um, the show must go on. It's absolutely gorgeous. The color shifts from like a magenta pink to a fiery reddish orange and even a little bit of gold in that shimmer and it's absolutely stunning. So this polish is the first of the eight that I'm going to talk about today. Six of these polishes that I'm going to talk about are actually going to be OPI because I, because of the OPI holiday burlesque collection, I thought about all of the OPI collections that I have purchased from and all of them that I just have forgotten about. I have so many OPI nail polishes. I think OPI is still, for me, the one brand that I, I always research the, the first, like first and the most because Historically for me, they've come out with some beautiful collections and really sought after collections and OPI was the brand that kind of made me want to hoard nail polish. Um, so I just went back to my roots, I guess, and looked through all of my OPI nail polishes and thought about ones that were old ones that I had collected a really long time ago and absolutely love um, and just haven't worn for a while. And then the last one is a julep one because I was organizing my nail polish and um, it was there and I was like, it's actually a really good nail polish. The first one is called Susie Says Da by OPI, and it is a brown cream. Um, I don't own a lot of browns. I don't wear a ton of brown creams. Um, brown is, it's a beautiful color. I always like it on my skin tone. I always like it on other people's skin tone, but it's just a color that I never reach for first or think about first, but it's it's not a color that I dislike on me. Um, Susie Says Da was one of the first, I think it's actually the first brown cream that I ever purchased. It's from the Russian collection, which was again, a really long time ago. And I, wanted, I want to say that maybe it's in their permanent line, but I'm not quite sure. It's a really nice, rich, sort of dark chocolate brown color. Uh, the formula for this was really, really nice. It was opaque in two coats, and it's really shiny, and it's just, yeah, it's a polish that I know I always like when I put it on, and I always am happy with the manicure when I use this, but I just... I just don't use it as often as I think I should. So um, yeah, I absolutely love this. If you guys are looking for a brown cream, I do recommend this one if you can track it down. The next three colors are actually gonna be from the OPI Espana collection. And the Espana collection was a fall collection that came out right around the time that I started making YouTube videos. So that was fall 2009. Um, and it was 
it was the collection that had just come out when I had first started getting into YouTube and um, Juicy Star 07 Blair actually posted a like a haul of these colors and it was the first collection that I thought I need to get those polishes and then I looked into OPI and found like Scrangy's blog and All Lacquered Up and all these other blogs that just that made me make a list like a wish list for OPI colors that I wanted to get. My three favorite colors from that collection I think I have about I want to say I have about six of them. Um, I have my three favorite ones from that collection are the ones that I'm going to show you today. This first one is called Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow, and it is a really, really dark green cream color. Um, there is like the, I wouldn't call it a shimmer, but there is a little bit of like black fleck in there. Um, it's not shiny. It's not noticeable at any point so when you put it on it is a dark green cream but again this was another color that I absolutely loved for the longest time when I wanted to wear dark nails but I didn't want to do purple and I didn't want to do black and I didn't want to do blue this was the only nail polish that I ever reached for I love it it's absolutely stunning it definitely looks green on your nails when you're outside it does tend to look basically like black when you're inside in low lighting, but it's a really beautiful color. This color is Pamplona Purple, and this is a warm purple cream color. Soya has a color that is very, very similar to this. I think it's called Kieko. Um, it was in like a spring-summer collection like four years ago, um, but it's very, very similar to this. It's a bright purple cream color, and I just, I really like this one. Again, it was one of my favorites from the Espana collection. This has a really good formula. This was, this is the formula of cream that OPI did before it started to get either really thick with like the Shrek colors or on the thin side, which is a lot of the newer OPI collections in the last couple of years. They've released creams that end up being really nice on the nails with like three coats. For example, some of the Venice Collection colors that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, this is a cream that, a cream formula that they did really, really well way back when. Um, and for me, I can always get full opacity with this in two coats and it's shiny. The last one that I have to show you from the Espana Collection is called Eight Berries in the Canaries. And this is a pinker, like a pinker version of Pamplona Purple. It is a sort of berry toned purple almost magenta cream color again really really nice formula this one is opaque in two coats for me again and it's just it's a like it's a really nice sort of nostalgic opi color because it has such a nice formula the color is beautiful it's underrated for me because i feel like the direction that creams are going towards right now just like the trend is to have a really bright more saturated tone this is a little bit scaled back and it's a it's more fall appropriate for me but it's also wearable in the spring these two are from the holiday collection in 2009 which is the same collection that smitten with mittens came from um smitten with mittens is my absolute favorite opi of all time and basically my favorite red polish of all time and that collection was amazing. It was a beautiful holiday collection. Um, it also had one of my favorite red, dark red shimmers called Glove You So Much, and it was a really beautiful and like innovative collection at that time. Um, I say innovative because it had these two polishes in them, which were flaky polishes. There were, you know, your standard red creams in there, but I just, it was a beautiful and lovely holiday collection. And that, again, was the holiday collection that made me realize that I should keep an eye on OPI during the holidays. This one is called Shimmery Chic, and it is a bronzy sort of antique casted gold color um, with a ton of opalescent flakes mixed into it. Um, I don't wear this as much as I should because I just, again, it's a polish that I forget about and I feel bad about forgetting about it because I always see it and I'm like, that's really, really beautiful. But um, it's, it's just, it's really unique and I don't have any other polishes like this. I wish that OPI would make more combination like texture effect polishes like this, but they don't. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it's a gorgeous nail polish. It's great for the fall because of that sort of rustic 
goldy antique color that it has is as its base and then the opalescent flakes in it just like update it and make it look so much more like unique the other one from the holiday collection that I absolutely love is called Merry Midnight and this is a like a sugar plum dark purple with the opalescent flakies and then a ton of silver micro shimmer mixed into it I wore this a couple of I was going to say a couple of days ago. I wore this last week, um, and again, it got a lot of questions as to what I was wearing at, like, work and stuff, um, especially with kids. <laughs> kids love this nail polish, but it's just, it's such a gem in OPI's, like, history. It's such a beautiful and unique polish, and I wish that they made more polishes like this. The last color that I have to show you is from Julep. This is in the color Susie, and this color I purchased a really long time ago, and I purchased it because Holly basically said this was one of her favorite Julep nail polishes and one of her favorite pastels because it had such a good uh, formula. It's super, super opaque. It's a sea foam green. It's very, very light and minty, and she was totally right. It has a really excellent formula, um, and it's just a really reliable pastel seafoam green color. Colors like this can get really patchy and annoying to work with, and you have to layer like a thousand times, but this one is so easy to work with that I just, I thought I'd mention it in this video. So yeah, that is my first round of underrated and forgotten nail polishes. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, again, I will just continue to do these once in a while because I have so many nail polishes that um, I would be happy to just continue showing you guys underrated nail polishes as, as I go through my nail polishes and find some. Um, if you guys have any polishes that you think are underrated or that people should talk about more or appreciate more, not necessarily the brand, but just the polish itself, let me know in the comments down below and I'll either try and track them down or um, wear them because I might have them. So yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. It would totally make my day. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Um, I have my fall nail polish picks coming up because fall collections are coming out and swatches are coming out and I might pick up a couple more. And otherwise, video suggestions, I am going on vacation in the middle of August so there might be a little bit of a lull there. I'm trying to get ahead of it and program videos while I'm gone. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys soon.